I mean, this what is New Street? Let's take a look. I have it on the side here. Hold on. Because I don't know, man. Like, it is what it is. My opinion. Tekken 8 is not fun. Aggressive is actually just an absurdity. I think... I don't think I've adapted to this game as someone I've been doing since Tekken 1 so far. Tekken 8 is a lot of things I can't understand. So, I don't know. It's a very fair tweet, right? Ah! Why are we over here? Is he saying he thinks he has adapted to the game or... Either way, I mean, at the end of the day, it's his opinion, right? It's his opinion. Um, he's entitled to have it as someone who has played this game for a very long time it's an important game like i think anyone's anyone's allowed to have an opinion right personally i kind of agree i agree with what he's saying for the most part i think the aggressive nature of this game can be too overbearing like if you just take a, this is something i talk about a lot like why is the heat engage a plus 17 why why because i landed this mid some characters that have amazing heat engages a plus one block etc etc like, i think huang's right before down for three is an example of an amazing he engager plus 17 and if i just do a low like this you can't low parry it you have to, you have to block it you can't low parry a low so and then like say like say like how many times uh, how many times do we see a sequence like this in tekken right like i'm sure we start to see watch some tournaments now you know i've been competing in some tournaments how often do we see a, a, a scenario like this happen and just play out right so uh, how often do we see something like that plus 17 into plus 18 into guess for game i normally see would be like a pixel of life there right who's i don't want to play europe too man and again like they've also buffed movement in this game right but some characters have moves with a maid like eddie's down for one and back one both trap both ways both two very good fast mids why does he have that why buff movement if you're going to restrict movement but i swear to god speak speak of the devil like i think i think this game the, the best way to describe this game especially certain characters are just snowball like some characters it's just literally just all about snowball and again i don't know eddie in this game right now so i just focus on trying to rush eddie down before anything happens because he's a lot different in this game than he was before how did that happen he's a lot different in this game when he was before right like this is a this is a different very much a different character and like if this is the direction they're going down for why did back one beat crush my jab there um if this is the direction they're going down and it's bro i hate i hate punishing relaxed dance in this game bro i hate it before it was just what back three now it's minus 13 and it's a standing punish man i hate it oh okay i mean he has a new while sending four extension right From there, bro, heat burst. Oh my god. Heat burst range in this game is so crazy. I don't know why my combo dropped to the wall. Um yeah, I think there's a lot about this game to not like, especially like for people who are competing in this game. Is that last hit a high? Like look, I can't distinguish Eddie's moves in this game at all. Like I really can't everything looks the same like everything looks the same bro everything looks the same and different to what it was in Tekken 7. i think there is a lot to dislike in this game and again it's the first iteration of this game i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it all the time you know like this is the vanilla version of the game they're working things out etc etc so like sure yeah there's gonna be issues but like for this part of the game, like, yeah, I think people are, are validated to feel a certain type of way. Especially when this game is so just offensively loaded. Defensive options in this game are not fantastic. Generally, like across the board, some characters may, you know, have a little something extra like Yoshi, for example, has some pretty decent defensive tools. You know, which some people are saying why did that hit which some people are saying you know might boost him up on a tier list in a game that is supposed to be so um offensively based but like across the board like i think losing in this game losing generally isn't fun right but i think losing in this game like really isn't fun because you know you just get snowballed 
like this happens into this happens and then like he engages plus 17 and then like you just lose your life don't really know why and then you know where do you go from there oh i can't punish that in this game like that bro my mouse move for punishing eddie is all over the place in this game like everything i used to do just doesn't work anymore So when you say all of that in mind, such a front-loaded offensive game that is, I think, you know, designed to make people enjoy watching the game, playing this game feels like hell, you know, when you're losing. You know, I can very much understand, especially someone like me who enjoys playing defensive, you know, playing slow, blocking. Blocking is not a good choice. Like, bro, I remember I used to say all the time to people, especially when I used to coach people during Tekken 7, is there's nothing wrong with blocking. Uh, that's all we can get. Okay. I used to say to people all the time, there's nothing wrong with blocking. There's absolutely nothing wrong with blocking. I used to say that when I coach people in Tekken 7 all the time, there's nothing wrong with blocking. You know, your turn will come eventually. In this game, where I think not, not enough people are sort of seeing that chip damage is more than just chip damage. That like it is real damage, bro. You know, it is actually real damage. But yeah, you can get a bat. Yeah, he engages, etc, etc. But at the end of the day, you know, the damage you've taken, if they then hit you, GG. Like yeah, you can get a back, but if they hit you, you're done. So I think it's so much like, like again, there's a there's a lot to be worried about in this game, especially if, like if you're going to be competing, right? I have some very important reasons to be doing well in tournament, especially at the start, especially as you, at the start of this game. Like it is worrying, you know, but. I think there is a compare. You just got you just gotta play the game. We can voice our concerns and hope something gets done about it. Eddie has a hatchet kick. Now. Bro, Eddie has everything. Eddie actually has everything now, bro. Like what's going on? <laughs> he actually has everything. What have they done to this character, bro? That's minus 13, I think, right? Just let me heat burst, man. Like, I think you need to do just a lot of adapt adapting to this game. I don't know whether Nee's saying he thinks he has adapted or hasn't adapted. But either way, there's a lot you have to do in this game to sort of change. You just got to change, bro. You just got to change. Um, and not a lot of people are happy about it. Like me personally, I enjoy. I think this game is very fun. I enjoy playing this game. You know, I stream for seven hours by accident all the time. But I do see the issues. I do see where things are scary. The top 10 in this game are really unfun to play against. The strong character in this game are really unfun to play against. Getting snowballed in this game really is unfun. Um, so obviously I understand the frustrations. And hopefully they listen. You know, like knees not enjoying the game. That's fair. I mean, here's the thing as well. Like, who's dominating in in Korea right now? Ulsan. Ulsan and CBM. Reyna. Reyna, Azucena, Jin. I, that's not fun, bro. Get ready for the next how is that? How is that fun, bro? <laughs> how is that fun? Nee needs to learn the matchup. But it's not as simple as that. Like, he's saying it's the game itself. It's not about not knowing how to deal with a certain character. It's like... And again, I think that's one thing that's annoying about this game. Even when you do know how to deal with something is still not fun like the counterplay to certain things is like oh my god yeah like sometimes the counterplay is just mash you know sometimes the counterplay is just sometimes you just have to hold it sometimes the counterplay is guess right you're not sidewalk there or did i go the wrong way we're learning this matchup on the job man you think i should buy tekken as a beginner for fighting games um i think it's a very good 
casual friendly fighting game to get into. This, I think this is the most casual friendly iteration to get into. Never played fighting games before. I think there's good there's good resources to learn this game. And if you are going to buy this game, exclamation mark instant pulls up instant gaming. Uh, the perfect place for you to buy the game, right? You know, you can get a discounted rate, get all the editions on console or Steam. Shout out to instant gaming. Oh, the punish there, man. I don't like that in this game. You can jab him out, okay. Like, if you see like the clips of like, there's a clip of like glaciating winning around with Eddie, and it's just the most degenerate thing I've ever seen in my life, bro. Like, yeah, people aren't going to enjoy losing in this game, bro. People are not going to enjoy losing to that, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, even some of my wins, like, bro, even some of my wins in this game, bro, I do not feel satisfied. Like, when I get, like, a wall blast interact, like, stage hazards, there's so much in this game to, like, I think... To, to be wary of, you know. It's like I completely understand. Oh, that was range. I hate Eddie's four four three man. Range is crazy. Too many people with rose tinted dance glasses presenting Tekken seven wasn't perfect. That's not what I'm saying. Leonidas said, "Leave me alone," so I'm gonna leave him alone. Um. Too many, like, no one's saying Tekken's. I don't think Ni said at any point Tekken 7 was better. I don't think he said that. I don't think he's saying Tekken 7 was better. Right? I think he's saying the problems that are going on with this game are the problems that are going on with this game. And I don't like dealing with this game. Right? He's not saying Tekken 7 was better. He's just saying, oh my god, I can't. Is this a different Eddie player, bro? He's just saying that what is going on with this game is what I don't like. Right? I don't think he was comparing it to Tekken 7. My dash, this connection, bro. Do you feel like they tried to make every character easier or accessible? I mean, they have made it like Eddie in this game is easier. Uh, way more ex like his gameplay is very like we'll say we'll say noob friendly, quote unquote noob friendly, right? But before Eddie was like a more of a defensive style character, you know, focusing his back dash to force whiffs and then punishing you and he could turtle. In this game, he's a rushdown character, bro, which doesn't make any sense to me. Like, it's so weird to see. Um, I think across the board, you know, the newcomers are very easy, very strong. Why do my jabs with? I just keep forgetting Eddie has been extension of his while sending four man. But most of memory for Eddie is just so annoying. What is, I'm assuming that's going to be launch, right? That's his while sending launch, right? I can't believe they just gave him that as well. His while sending one three now he has this new one which does damage. Yeah, from what I've seen, John Ding doesn't like the character. I know Spag didn't really like Eddie at the start. I don't know if he's still playing him. Like, Eddie players don't really like him. <laughs> Is that unsafe now? I hope it is. I saw it. Why was that off axis like that, man? Whoops. 
Minus 11, thank God. That was just the most brain dead thing in Tekken 7, man. Oh yeah, Tekken 7 wasn't perfect, but like, I think this game is more fun. Right now, obviously, it's fresh and it's new. We've been playing for like three, four months now, I guess. I actually don't know how long, how long we've been playing this game. My sense of time is kind of distorted. And like, I don't like that people are saying, oh, it's the honeymoon period. You know, it's over now. People hate the game. Like, I hate when people do that, bro. They hate the game. Now It's like, we just understand more and there's some certain things we don't like and there's bugs and people are voicing that. Like, you know what I mean? Right? Like, people are like, it's always, it's always the honeymoon period. It's fighting game. It's like, no, nah, like, bro, like, if you're in the community, you understand there's issues with the game genuinely. And we want it, we want them to be fixed and solved, bro. That's not what it is. Like again, and these people you see complaining on Twitter or people when I see I hate when when I see someone like me voice these complaints, so and I get people like, oh my god, he's crying. I hate it, bro. I hate it, man. Actually, it's so annoying, bro. Look at him cry. He's crying. Why is he crying? It's like oh man. Anyway. Um when we do voice our complaint, it's just because we want the game to be as, as good as it can possibly be, right? We want to enjoy playing this game. But like, like it I said before, like, this game is Nii's job. This game is my job, etc, etc. We want to enjoy this game as much. We want this game to be as good as possible. You know, I don't know why I didn't just heat dash there, but whatever. But there are times this game isn't fun. I think losing in this game with the way you can just get snowballed and you know stuff like Lars Den 3 into hold a send mix up and stuff like it's not fun. Like barring these buffs, you know, it's not fun. Right? Like, I understand when people, like, for example, when Arsenal's like, this game is for noobs. For the and then I play against certain people and I lose in a certain type of way. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, you might be spitting. <laughs> like, you know what it is? Like, it's, it's, I think competing in this game right now is going to be a bit of a, I think there's going to be nothing resembling consistency in, in international tournaments. I think there's going to be nothing resembling consistency at, at, international tournaments i think we are gonna see first two months of tekken mortal unless it's the s tiers dominating i think we are gonna see nothing resembling consistency like and again it's not like i'm saying like me and our sense opinion should be put on a pedestal and what they say what they say is the truth um shouts to uh k-man who just reached level seven in marvel strike force by the way appreciate that Again, if we can get 20 people to level 20 for Marvel Strike Force, we'll run, a view we'll run some viewer tournaments just to give back to you guys because I really appreciate when you guys support me like this. So I need to do something big because we haven't even got like our view games done and so it properly. And I do apologize for that, but I can be a bit of a busy bee. Um, but like, we're not just to hold their opinions up on like a pedestal and like what Neon Arson says, go. I think, I think their opinions are important to listen to because these are some of the most important ambassadors for this game. And they know a lot. They spend a lot of time playing this game, you know, I think they are to be taken with a grain of salt from time to time. But I also don't think that, um, you know, because again, when I agree with them and I say, why are people being so mad at what they say? They say that, why do you put, why are you putting them on the pedestal? Why are you, you know, why are you blindly agreeing with them? I'm not saying you should blindly agree with any opinion. Like an opinion is opinion for a reason. It's personal to you. You know, you can agree or disagree and that's okay. Um, sometimes people disagree with facts though. And they're like, that's an opinion. That's another story for another day. Um, but like, yeah, I think it's important to listen to what they have to say and then, you know, go from there. Like me, for example, I, I agree with a lot what they have to say about this game, but I don't agree with everything. Like, for example, Nii says, he say the game is not fun. He said Tekken 8 is not fun. I disagree. Um, I find the game fun. I enjoy playing the game. Um, I play for when I stream, I stream for seven hours by accident. I'm like, okay, we'll be through five hours now, time to end it and then I go for another however long right like i i find this game very fun but if he doesn't you can understand why like i explained the way he likes to play the game is not the way you should be playing tekken 8 really and truly like this game is kind of a whirlwind you know like you get through a full first or two and you get through a full first or two 
in in Tekken in Tekken 8 and you start looking like that one Spongebob meme where it's a huffing and puffing man where he's just like you know like I get it and he just needs to play Brian I mean a lot of Brian players are saying he's not good in this game like I find the game fun but in tournaments bro if I if, when I play in tournament I see as we're saying to boot it up bro I know I'm about to have a bad time I'm about to have a bad time you know, win, lose, or draw. I, I hate playing against that character, bro. She needs to cease to exist. Like, there are some people I lose to in this game, and like, just with the way they play. Like, I get, I get that salty. I get that salty, bro. Like, you, bro, see me in Tekken Seven. <laughs> if this was Tekken Seven, bro, you know what I mean. I get that salty little. If this was Tekken Seven, man. I get, I get that that little bit of pride, that little chip on my shoulder, man. Like, bro, if this was Tekken Seven, man. You wouldn't be able to touch me, you know. You know. But I just feel like it's like, I don't know, you need to just be able to take the game for what it is. I do think internationally this game's gonna be interesting, bro. Several days later. So Tetsu asks, wondering how much does it feel different for you compared to playing Tekken 7 Vanilla, Tekken 6 Vanilla? When it was new, you liked the games when you first played them. What is different now in Tekken 8? It was Tekken skill to block well, avoid well, patience well. But Tekken 8 is no reward even if you block well. You will lose health. Good movements cannot be rewarded. Aggressive is not possible for characters. Balance between attack and defense is tilted to one side. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree with that, to be honest. I wholeheartedly agree with that. I don't I don't know how you can disagree with that personally. Like this game, like it's like again, it's tilted towards aggression, right? That's the whole point of the game. You know, it's not it's not that like they hit that, right? But I very much agree with that. Like people, I, I remember I got one comment one time recently that said, the, I can't, they said like Tekken World Tour Finals used to be in Vegas this year just to add to the casino. Because again, like this game, bro, the, it's so heavy on 50-50s. Like you land your heat engage, you get a 50-50. You can be like, for example, I do a heat engage, I can do it into forward, forward three. You know, now plus, plus six on block. You know, some plus I can like, again, it's with this pushback though. But if you push a button, like I can't hit you with this right and you get launched you know um unless you do a power crush right unless you do a power crush you know tekken's main defense i think tekken 8's main defense they want you to do is be power crushing i really i really feel like this game they're like bro power crushing is the way forward man i really feel like that's what they want people to be doing uh at all times i think that's what they want what they want people to be doing at all times bro you know power crush until your fingers fall off like again movement in this game even though like that's what i don't understand movement in this game is buffed however it's harder to step around certain moves unless that character's name is huarang because huarang's tracking is <laughs> anyway um like i mentioned eddie's down for one and back one is an example you know like I, I i i think offensive gameplay is cool you know yeah sure we can have some offensive gameplay um but the lack of defensive options, I think, is what will make it unfun for people. Let's right, see. So. Now look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. 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 That's Tekken 8. That's Tekken 8, bro. I feel like it's hard to not feel like you how, you lose to that. You gonna are you gonna say outplayed? Like the thing is, he could have done um he could have done a throw them when I, after I did downfall one three. But you know what? If I did nothing, I could have just broken the throw. Like how do you lose to that and say to yourself, you know what? I was just outplayed. <laughs> you know what I mean? What? Uh, how'd you lose to that and say outplayed? I don't think I don't think you do just say outplayed. So I get it. It's not fun. And I think I think one thing about this game that a lot of the top players, I think myself included, have this feeling of is that anyone can do that. And if anyone can do that, you can lose to that. To anyone. Rando. It feels like the skill floor in this game is lower i think is one the skill floor is lower 
it's easier to get in is that what i'm trying to say is that the skill floor and skill ceiling both got lower i think you know like in tekken i think in tekken 7 you could see a big disparity between who is really 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 good who is good you know who is who is bad who's k wish level like at the absolute pinnacle of the mountain who's at the top type shit like in this game with the way certain characters operate with the way you can just like do what i did there and prosper like and pretty much every character can do that to a certain extent some characters will just be doing it better than others like look at this 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 Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at that. What do you do? What do you do, bro? You know what I mean? I get it. Like offensive gameplay is fine, but without balancing it with some with defensive mechanics to go with it, I think is what's adding to the the sadness and sorrow, you know? No no no. No no no. You know, the sadness and sorrow, guys. The sadness and sorrow. Do one to one again, please. He's not going to do it. Nice scan hit. You mean that banger from Boruto? Say that again and you get banned. Give me a counter hit. Give me a counter hit. Give me a counter hit. Jesus Christ, running exploder. Counter hit. Oh, I missed my heat bus. So I pressed it later than I wanted to. Unlucky. Unlucky. Oh. Uh. He's not giving me a count here, man. It's making me upset. All I want is a count here. I don't think I'm asking for too much. There you go. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. I appreciate it, Ruddy. 